Beijing, Part Two, Geography. Beijing is situated at the northern tip of the roughly triangular North China Plain, which opens to the south and east of the city, mountains to the north, northwest, and that shield the city and northern China's agricultural heartland from the encroaching desert steps. The northwestern part of the municipality, especially Yangtze country and Hyrule district, are dominated by the Chengdu mountains, while the western part is framed by Sichuan or the western hills. The Great Wall of China across the northern part of Beijing municipality was built on the rugged topography to defend against nomadic incursions from the separate Mount Dongling in the western hills and on the borders with Hebei is the municipality's highest point with an altitude of 2,203 meters, 7,556 feet. Major rivers flowing through the municipality, including the Chao Bay, Yangding, Jimao, are all tributaries in the high river system and flow in a southern direction. The Miyun Reservoir on the upper east of the Chao Bay River is the largest reservoir within the municipality. Beijing is also the northern terminus of the Grand Canal. To Hangzhou, which also built over 1,400 years ago as a transportation road and a south-north water transfer project constructed in the past decade to bring water from the Yangtze River Basin, the urban area of Beijing on the plains in the south-central of the municipality with elevation of 40 to 60 meters, 130 to 200 occupies a relatively small but extending portion of the municipality's area. The city spreads out in concentric ring roads. The second ring road traces the old city walls, and the sixth ring road connects satellite towns in the surrounding suburbs. Tiananmen and Tiananmen Square are at the center of Beijing, directly to the south of the Forbidden City, the former residence of the Emperors of China. The west of Tiananmen in Zhongnanhai, the residence of China's current leaders. Chang'an Avenue, which comes between Tiananmen and the square, forms the city main east-west axis. Three styles of architecture are predominant. Urban Beijing. First, there is a traditional architecture of Imperial China, perhaps best exemplified by the massive Tiananmen Gate of Heavenly Peace, which remains the People's Republic of China trademark edifice, Forbidden City, the Imperial and Castle Temple, and the Temple of Heaven. Next, there is what is sometimes referred to as the Sinusoid style with structures tending to be boxy and sometimes poorly constructed which were built between the 1950s and the 1970s. Finally, there are much more modern architectural forms, most notably in the area of the Beijing CBD in the Beijing such as the new CCTV headquarters in addition to buildings in other locations around the city such as the Beijing National Stadium and National Center for the Performing Arts. Since 2007, buildings in Beijing have received the CTBUH Skyscraper Award for Best Overall Tall Building twice for the Lincoln Hybrid Building scene. 2009 at the CCTV headquarters in 2013, the CTBUH Skyscraper Award for Best Tall Overall Building is given to only one building around the world every year. In the early 21st century, Beijing has witnessed tremendous growth of new building constructions. A 
exhibiting various motor styles from international designers, most pronounced in the CBD region. A mixture of both 1915 design and municipality style of architecture can be seen at the 798 Art Zone, which makes the old with the new Beijing's current completed tallest buildings is the 330 meter China World Trade Center Tower 3, but will be surpassed by the 528 meter China Zone in 2018 when it's completed. Both buildings are in the Beijing CBD. The CCTV headquarters serves as the headquarters for China Central Television CCTV that was formerly at the old China Central Television building located at 11 Fusin Road some 15 km to the west. The tower is 234 meters 51 story skyscraper on East Third Wing Road. Adjacent Television Cultural Center in February 2009. The headquarters was completed in May of 2012 and was officially inaugurated in June 2013. The CCTV headquarters won the 2013 Best Tall Building Worldwide from the Council of Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat. The Betting Heart of Robotics in Beijing. If ideas as posed in sci-fi films fill you with fear than being alive at this particular time in history must be a living nightmare for you. Robocop and all the quaint ideas of 90s sci-fi are neither why not more ideas. Establishments all across countries like Japan have begun employing real life robots for everything from serving in restaurants to caring for the elderly, China employs artificial intelligence at ports of entry to eliminate the need for long queues at customs. A year or so ago, a team at the BBC carried out a radical experiment in conjunction with Chinese police to see just how long it would take to find a criminal in one of China's highly populated mega cities. The results were an astonishing 7 minutes. Thanks to a complex system of face recognition AI technology woven into the very fabric of everyday Chinese life. Financial Street The Beijing Financial Street is located on the east side of the second green road, the area between Fuching Man and Fuxing Man. The financial street is 1700 meters long from north to south and 600 wide from east to west. More than 10 skyscrapers have been erected on the street. A lot of financial institutions like Head Office of China Construction Bank, Bank of China, Commercial and Industrial Bank of China, Communication Bank of China, China Securities Regulatory Commission, CITIC, Industry Bank and other big banks in China have already entered the financial street. Several deluxe hotels are nested in this area like Ritz Carlton Hotel, Continental, over 200 big enterprises have moved into the financial street. The financial street will become financial center of financial institutions and business buildings in Beijing. At the same time, it will be equipped with all kinds of service facilities like telecommunication, business, catering and culture and entertainment and so on. Beijing is an important transport hub in North China with 6 ring roads, 1167 km of expressways, 15 national highways, 9 conventional railways and 5 High-speed railways converging the city.